That's good. But right now, let's get into a little Q&A. All right. Ho, ho, ho. This is my favorite part of the whole show. Uh, Jarrett has got a good point. He said, Let me get this right out of here real quick. Generally speaking, I don't hate the idea of Elon being a troll. Oh, this is because a new story came out that uh, Elon's going to uh, apparently buy Twitter. He agreed to the terms and conditions, and he's going to go back on it and, and uh, buy it. I'm kind of tired of covering Elon and, and his shenanigans, and I know some people just love him to death. I just, that's amazing to me. Uh, that guy can move things with just a tweet, and uh, good for him, but it's, it's exhausting. But uh, Jared says, generally speaking, I don't hate the idea of Elon being a troll. I do have problems with Elon trolling where it affects markets and other things outside himself. Still like Tesla, though. Yeah. And uh, I'm, this is probably good for Dogecoin people. I mean, they're probably like, yes, now Dogecoin will be the reserve currency of the world. Maybe. Who knows? Hello, Des. Nice to see you. Appreciate you coming by. And <laughs> it's a girl thing, fashionably late. Yeah, let's get some wrenches. Who wants a wrench? Let's do that. Let's see here. Uh, let me pull you guys up. One second. Who wants a wrench? Golly. First of all, let me find everybody. There we go. Ah. What the chat slowed. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why. BitBud wants a wrench. Sorry, BitBud, I don't know you. Uh, you may have been lurking. I will get you next time. Uh, hit the like. This is a good one. The family of public representatives should be fined based off a percentage of their family's net worth for infrastructure. That'd be, I'd like to see that. Beardy cannot get more wrenches. It's a, it's a one and done, Beardy. I like Sheba better than Dutch. Yeah, why not? Rob, can you provide the exact date we'll hit the bottom, if we haven't already, and what that price will be? That's a good, that's a great question. Boy, if I had that, if I had that information, I don't know. Uh, I assume that everything you would swap in the Ledger Live you create a text event. So Tyler, so I took a look at it. Actually, I have it set up already. It's, it's not like you're swapping, you're actually buying. So actually, no, 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 that's not true. You are swapping, you're right. So yes, it would create a tax event. So you would need uh, some kind of tax software, just so you know. Uh, ooh, we're all here for the QA. Yeah, where is Jarky? Do you still own Gala? I don't own Gala. Uh, it's in Voyager. So they own it right now, apparently, and I can't get it out. Ooh, look at this. Ledger Live is offering credit cards, debit cards as well, but not in the US. Nothing gets offered in the U.S. Uh, great question. Matthias says, hey, Rob, is it an advantage to have Sweatcoin premium to earn more sweat as it is only effective in the Sweatcoin app? You can pay for a premium. It's like 25 a year, but I think, 24.99. But if you don't want to pay it, I wouldn't pay it. You just use the app. The app is free. You get free Sweatcoins. I don't know why people are opposed to that. It makes me no sense to me. That's it. Darth Mike, this has been the pretty much the most boring sideways week I've had since I started investing in crypto. Yeah, just wait. It'll get more boring. The only interesting story is a Credit Suisse on the verge of collapse. That's true. Um, but we covered this a couple of days ago. I just love it when the CEOs come out and go, nothing to see here, folks. We're okay. We're solvent. We're moving forward. And we'll be here tomorrow. Meanwhile, <laughs> selling all their stock and things behind the scenes. It's just, it's just asinine. All right. Where are we here? Whoa. That is not what I wanted to do. Uh, oh, I didn't know that. Mr. Wolf says you get sweat on the first daily 6,000 steps of premium. Hector Feliciano says, hey, Rob, any idea of the tax laws are turning for the worse in Puerto Rico? This is why I invest or I uh, invest into iTrust. I don't invest. I, 
I have a Roth IRA with iTrust because you never know, like, especially with Puerto Rico, there's always rumblings that they're going to take away Act 60 and things like that. Go ahead, take away Act 60. I, whatever. I mean, I only paid a boatload to do it and I'm still getting taxed. So whatever. Uh, and of course, we give the charities because that's what our requirement is. But we'd like to do that. But if you take away Act 60, it's fine. Go right ahead. I'll still live there. It's a great place. And uh, that's it. So here's the thing. If Puerto Rico takes away Act 60, just pushes everybody to Dubai and Portugal and everything, every place else. doesn't matter to me. Ah. what I miss? <laughs> I like beers. Okay, that's what I was looking for. Message retracted. Rice Crypto says one bottom. Your guess is as good as mine. Darth Mike, you already got a, a wrench. Mm, oh, it's Taco Tuesday. It is Taco Tuesday. Austin says, what is Gary Gensler's timeline for security implementation? Who knows? Mr. Whoop. Mr. Woof. Chris Den, you've already got one. Dez, Beardy, Benamortasia. I think I said that right. <laughs> Jade says, I started a crypto TikTok because of you. Super fun, but I'm learning how much work it is. And that's just TikTok. Fritzelli, you get a wrench. Good for you. Mr. Wolf, you already got one. And I think that's it. <laughs> JH, you get a wrench. I got to tell you, one of these days, it's just going to be full of wrenches. With great power comes great responsibility. So don't ban anybody just for saying something you don't like. So that's it. That's all. And if they... I mean, if they're talking like craziness, of course, ban people. But, uh, you know, a little, a little discourse is okay. Let's see. Can you throw Garrigan's in the pool? He seems like a crafty guy. I don't know if I want to do that. Ah, SDSD says some people are speculating the Fed is about to pivot. There was an emergency meeting yesterday. Does anybody know what happened? I didn't hear anything about it yet. And so we'll see the bank of bank of England pivoted. So I think people are like, well, if the bank of England pivots and if the UN comes out and says, Hey, Jerome Powell, stop raising rates. You're messing up the world economy. Then maybe Jerome Powell will pivot and go, yeah, I guess you're right. Could be. I don't think he will, but it could. I just got to tell you if they pivot, you know, we still got this problem in the back called inflation. So I don't know if that's gonna work out well. Or maybe they just give it a break for a while and then come back. Oh, it's Yom Kippur. Vicky says, Apostle show us your streaming setup. It's very simple. It's just a camera, uh, laptop, this microphone and some lighting in the back and that's it. What's your favorite food in Puerto Rico? Everything from the smokehouse. That's a great place. You ever been there? It's great. Uh, it's not very spicy like here around Mexico, but whatever. And everybody seems to love plantains. I'm not sure why. Norman, because they pivoted for a foolish budget plan. Yeah. Pancakes need butter? Neep and butter. Feds need to pause. Best outcome for the world. They can pause, but they got to come back right in. Right in. <laughs> Purity's EOS ransom. See, that's just it. And people say, well, if Powell pivots, it's a, it's a, it's a serious problem. I don't know. I mean, some people say that they, they can't keep doing it. Uh, the GDP is gonna is gonna crash. It's gonna crash everything. Then some people say, well, if he pivots now, it's just like how uh, Burns, which was the Fed Reserve chairman before um, Volcker came in, where he did actually raise rates. He just didn't do enough of them, and it almost led to a depression. And if Volcker didn't raise those rates so much, 
then it would have uh, collapsed everything. And then, you know, James is always saying, but you understand because it's, it's, it's a GDP and the debt and there's so much debt. And I'm like, what, what do you want to deal with? Do you want to deal with the ax that's swinging for your head or the guy that just shot at you? I mean, at some point you got to pick your poison and go, we got to fix, fix something first and we can't keep going down this road. But again, maybe there's a softer landing. I don't run the Fed, thank God. If it did, it would be a disaster. Uh, why would the pit, Fed pivot right now? I think you got to have resolve. It would be interesting if they did. I wouldn't have any faith in them if they did. Yeah, there's always a timeout. That's right. If you don't like what somebody says, sometimes you got to listen. But if you don't, if they're a little crazy, then give them a timeout. If they're doing nonsense, then of course, of course. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Damn it, stop moving. There we go. Oh, I did the wrong one. Sorry, JH, I just removed your your uh, your wrench, but you got it right back. Mm, okay, got it. Uh, let's see, what other questions we got? Commodity prices go higher equals more inflation. Very well could be. Laser, <laughs> laser eyes the 19K. What is... The, what is the crypto market doing anyhow? We should probably take a look at that. Is it up? I got, must be honest with you. I, I don't really care to look at the market too much because I know that all I got to do is I don't have to look at the market. All I got to do is take a look at Twitter for the sentiment of, of where the market is. I have to look at the price. Hey, look at that. It is up. Uh, twenty, almost twenty thousand. We're at nine or ninety-eight billion. Ethereum's up. That's pretty good. So let's see if my theory is correct. Yeah, S&P's up. And Nasdaq. Finance. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, shocker. All right. That's right, there's no painless fix. That dude, Brent, what do I mean the smokehouse again? End of October, I'll see you guys there. It's still boring. Obstacle course went great. We had a couple hundred people show up. The proceeds went to El Paso Boys and Girls Club. Nice charity thing that we do. And uh, only one person got hurt, which was pretty fun. One person, which was great. And uh, yeah. <laughs> it's already built. It's already done. I got to take, I got to take out the, I got to go there and work with the guys today and take everything down. Matter of fact, and that's it. Well, look, I think I got it. Top, top bidder says getting pretty liberal with those wrenches. True. I got to agree with SC. I got to agree. They, they kept saying price stability is priority. If they pivot now, no credibility. Oil price is already shooting back up. Yeah, I just, I think that's a disaster if they say, yeah, we're going to pivot. We'll see. And that's it. So look. That's the day for the news. Again, I know it doesn't seem like this is the time, but this is the time. This is the time when millionaires are made, when it's super boring and no one's really excited and your friends have stopped texting you about the price of Bitcoin or what they should get invested into because nobody cares. Nobody cares because this is the time to do all the hard work. And that's not what people want to hear, but it's just the truth. So this is where I made all my money last time in 2018, 2019. Same thing's going to happen here in 2022, 2023, probably 2024 as we go up into 2025. But that's it. Just remember that. 
So that's it for today. So everybody, look, if you like today's video, thumbs up. That would be nice. I appreciate it. Also consider subscribing. A lot of things to talk about are time sensitive, but that is it for today. So thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate everybody. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. Mm.